Hi, betting experts. On Friday the 8th of July, the second day of the July meeting at Newmarket, good fast ground expected. Again, cracking racing, high class, really enjoyable. Very tough, I think. It's competitive today. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the 225. This is the Duchess of Cambridge Stakes, a six furlong group two for Phillies. Class one, two-year-olds only, £56,710 to the winner. A great chance to compare all the different form lines. And I like Morge here of Syed Bin Saroor. Now, this exceed and excel filly was always been held in high regard and was really impressive. Uh, thought to need the run quite badly on the 14th of May at Newmarket on fast ground, but absolutely stormed clear of believing, winning by four and three quarter lengths in the manner of a top class performer. The runner-up's won since though, then has been beaten and the third didn't do anything for the form, so it's a mixed picture, but she was duly sent off a very heavily back two to one favourite at the Royal Meeting in the Albany and ran a blinder, finishing second of 16 behind Aidan O'Brien's well back Meditate, uh, running on really strong racing in the centre of the track she did get outpaced and niggled along at halfway finished really strongly I suspect that promising young jockey Ray Dawson will have her a lot closer to the pace here possibly right up on the hammer because they know she stays really well I think she'll get seven furlongs and a mile in time but she's pretty progressive and exciting hopefully 21 days will be enough to recover from that relatively hard race should take plenty of beating if that's the case our betting expert value angle selection runs in the three o'clock this is the bet 365 trophy a heritage handicap a class two for four-year-olds and upwards fifty one and a half thousand pounds to the winner uh, over the one mile six furlong trip and i think mandoop here has got a touch of class he's a double figure price but i think he's got an outstanding uh, claims he's won two of his six career starts so far two times in the frame he's been campaigned it's sort of group three listed company virtually all of his career by brian mean um, you have to forgive a lesser effort when well backed at york last time out behind without a flight but a uh, york can be a track where horses do disappoint they get racing a long way out and Mandoop did not help his chance at all by pulling too hard in the early stages in that small field contest I really do think that a, a proper handicap a well run handicap will really suit him he ran very well behind Al Arzi on his seasonal debut at Ascot and if you go back to last July at this track in the Bahrain Trophy a Group 3 um, he finished second behind Yabir over a mile five, charging home on fast ground, looking every inch a thorough stay. So I think, all right, it's never easy, 107 into handicaps, but he has got a touch of class and at a double figure price, I think he's well worth chancing. Best of luck on Friday, betting experts.